this is a small presentation on diabetic retinopathy and how diabetes affects the eye, diabetes affects vision, and diabetes causes retinal damage. The whole problem is because diabetes affects blood vessels throughout the body, especially the kidneys and the eyes. If your kidneys have got damaged because of diabetes, it is also important to check your eyes even if your vision is normal. When the tiny blood vessels in the retina are affected, we call it diabetic retinopathy. The retina is the light sensitive layer in the back of the eye. This detects visual images and transmits them to the brain. What we are looking at here is the eye and the pupil of the eye and it's right through that pupil that your doctor can see the retina, which looks like this. Diabetic retinopathy manifests after about five years for an insulin dependent diabetic and 10 years for a non-insulin dependent diabetic. So when do you get your eyes examined? The first time diabetes is detected, there are many times people do not even know that they have had diabetes for years. Hence, we recommend retina checkup as soon as you get diabetic disease. The symptoms of diabetic retinopathy are first of all, you may have absolutely no symptoms. More than 90% patients do not have any symptoms until they go into the advanced stage. Therefore, it is extremely important to check the retina for diabetic retinopathy. Symptoms like blurred vision, partially blocked vision, floaters, difficulty reading or doing near work and severe vision loss and last of all blindness. These symptoms must be looked for in diabetic patients. A person with blurred vision may see something like this. Lots of floaters would probably mean a bleed inside the eye. Rapid changes in blood sugar can cause temporary blurring of vision. But this may not be a retinopathy. The types of retinopathy, you have a background diabetic retinopathy in which very minute changes are seen on the retina like small bleeding spots. Reduce blood supply to parts of the retina causes new delicate blood vessels to grow and to compensate for this ischemia. These can bleed. The pre-proliferative stage Lots of cholesterol deposits are seen on the retina, apart from a lot of ischemia. And finally, the proliferative stage, in which you see new blood vessels all over the retina. The new vessels can form scar tissue and pull the retina away from its proper location. This is called retinal detachment. This is how a retinal detachment looks in diabetes. This is another case of diabetic retinal detachment. A normal retina looks like this. However, if the center of the retina or the macula is involved, we call it diabetic maculopathy. Swelling is seen in the center of the retina, which causes blurring of vision. When cholesterol deposits increase, 
vision goes down. The investigations recommended are dilated fundus examination, fundus fluorescent angiography, optical coherence tomography. Fluorescent angiography is a harmless orange red dye fluorescent injected into the vein of the arm. This dye travels through the body to the blood vessels in the retina. The doctor uses a special camera with a green filter to flash a blue light into the eye and take multiple photographs. The pictures are analyzed for any blood vessel abnormalities and lack of blood supply to the retina. This is how it is done. A retina looking like this will look like this after a fluorescent angiography is done. We can appreciate leaks on the retina and we can also appreciate areas where blood does not flow. New vessels which are leaking can be seen as bright white spots. When blood does not flow to an area, we call it ischemia, which is noticed in the central black zone. Optical coherence tomography is imaging and measurement of retinal thickness. This is useful in detecting fluid accumulation. It uses rays of light. No radiation or x-rays are used. The machine looks like this and the scan of a normal macula looks like this. When there is swelling in the macula, your scan would appear like this. This is also useful in detecting any pull on the center of the retina known as vitreomacular traction. To summarize, do not wait for symptoms to have your first eye checkup. Have your eye tested by an eye specialist. Insist on a dilated retina examination. One eye checkup is not enough. Regular checkups are important. Sudden drop of vision requires immediate attention, and this may not necessarily be diabetic retinopathy.